Hey everyone, um, I wanted to show off the new addition to my family. This is my bunny. Um, it's a dwarf bunny and it's seven weeks old. So sweet. And uh, I just got him today. I don't know whether it's female or male. Um, so I will probably call him him, her, whatever. I don't know. Gender doesn't matter. Um, I've named my bunny. Hefner, Hugh Hefner, Playboy Bunny, you know, it's a cute name, yes it is, anyway, um, yeah, little cutie pie, she's so loving, so sweet, seven weeks old, like, oh my god, um, I know it's kind of weird, I bought a bunny right at, like, Easter, but, you know, um, I really wanted a pet, a lovable pet that's not a lot of money, and uh, bunnies are definitely lovable, and they're not a lot of money, they don't, like, you don't have to deal with, like, the whole vet thing quite as much as you do with, like, a, a cat or a dog, and their food's not as expensive at all as, like, cat or dog, so, um, yeah, so, I decided to go with a bunny, because they're so cute. Look at, look at him. Oh. Um. <laughs> um. So, I do have some news. My parents, um, told me the other day, yesterday. Well, it was my mom anyway that I was talking to. Told me yesterday that, um, her, my dad, and my sister are planning on coming to visit me first weekend in March, which is the weekend after my top surgery. So, that they don't know about, well, they do now. <laughs> um, they didn't know about it at the time. So, I had to tell my parents today, I just got off the phone with them, um, telling them that I am going in for top surgery. So, I basically just told my mom, I'm like, you know, you can come, but I will be recovering from surgery. And my mom was just like, what kind of surgery? So I told her straight out, I'm like, a double mastectomy with nipple graft. Um, and she's just like, well, that's a little extreme, isn't it? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> she, uh, she seems to think it's a little soon. But I'm just like, I know that you've only just heard about this, but for me, it's something I've been dealing with for a really long time. So... Yeah, so she wants to know, like, how I was paying for it and stuff like that. Oh, so cute. Um, so I told her I got a loan. <laughs> it's a credit card, but same sort of thing. Um, she didn't yell. That was a bonus. I was, I was scared. Um, but she didn't yell. She seems to think that it's soon and that it's a little extreme. Um... Which, I mean, I didn't think that she'd be okay with it anyway. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, she definitely uh, she took it all right. Um, she said that those have to see how I'm feeling as to whether they come that weekend or not. So that's a good sign that they're still going to come visit me, whether it's that weekend or later. You know, that still is a very good sign. Oh, being curious, eh? Um, yeah, so, uh, so I thought that that was pretty good, um, so I just wanted to, uh, yeah, make that little update, um, my name change should be, uh, hopefully coming back soon, and I, I have an appointment with my, uh, my doctor for, uh, next Thursday, um, I, uh, I have a horrible skin tag that's like right where my binder hits so right now I'm not wearing my binder because it keeps catching on it and it's quite annoying um, so I really need to get that removed. Dr. McLean said he would remove it but I can't wait like it hurts so much and the soonest I could get in was like next Thursday I'm like but I need in like right away it hurts it's so sore and so red and I don't know so I'm trying not to irritate it too much to hopefully make it go away. Um, so during that appointment, I am hoping to 
um, see if I can get on testosterone. Because um, I found uh, some great resource that I can give my uh, doctor. And uh, hopefully he will prescribe me with testosterone. Um, that would be really super awesome. Um, yeah. So, we'll see what happens though. Um, so sweet. The pet store, this little guy was trying to jump out of my arms, but I think he's tired, so he's just kind of relaxing now. I want him to get used to me, and eventually I'm going to let him like roam around the apartment, but he's not litter trained yet. So I will find little pellets everywhere. Not so good. Um, working on litter training him, though. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry, I got distracted by the bunny. So cute. Look at him. He's kind of hiding. But, yeah, he's so sweet. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just, I'm really happy that, oh, he's looking around now. I'm really happy that, uh, things with my parents are hopefully going to be okay. Um, I know this is hard for them, but, uh, um, at least we're still talking, and again, at least there was no yelling tonight. Um, I'm pretty sure my dad will probably yell, um, but my mom, I, she, uh, she must have actually paid attention to that email where I said that if they attack me again like they did, they're only going to push me away, and, you know, where I basically set the boundaries, so, um, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah. So, it's, I'm happy that I told them. I was, I was not feeling good about not telling my parents about surgery coming up. I think my mom could tell me that it was, or sorry, tell that it was hard for me to tell her about my surgery. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I told them because... I don't know, I felt really weird going, like, the thought of going in for surgery without my parents knowing just didn't sit well with me, um, you know, so, so I'm glad that they are now aware of that, and, uh, yeah, so, um, anyway, I think that's about, uh, all I've got for now, alright, say goodbye. Bye bye. No, he's kind of just clinging to me. He's a little baby. He's a little baby. You'll definitely see more of him. All right. Um. Take care, guys. And have a wonderful Easter. And I will talk to you later. Bye.